Let me show you how to make an animated list pop-up in Camtasia. Hey everyone, it's Jewel Tolentino here from Esatino Media. And on this channel, we show you how to create profitable content. All right, so I recently edited this video where my business partner, Arit, was talking about the book, two books actually, The Compound Effect versus Atomic Habits. And in part of the video, I did this animated list here. So let me just pop onto YouTube so I can show it to you and what it looks like. So here's the video right here. Feel free to check it out. And here's what the animated list part looks like. Five categories are your choices, your habits, momentum, influences, and acceleration. And each- So you can see it was pretty cool the way it came up on the screen there. So let me break this down and show you how I did this. All right, so this is the live working project file right here. You can see that it has many different layers as we go up. It goes all the way up to track eight. I skipped one, so it's actually seven tracks. So let's break this down here. This right here, the bottom piece, is actually text and a shape put together. So I grouped this a while ago and I save it in my library and I use it every so often. So I'll show you what it originally looks like. So if I go over to my library and I have many different libraries, I mainly use this for one of my clients. So this is what it is right here. It was this text and it looks like this. So you can see it's got some text here and then it has a shape behind it. So I altered it so that I could use it. And basically I opened it up and I removed one of the texts because we don't need both of them. The reason why there's two in there is because the white is the one in the front and the black kind of acts as a shadow. So we can just, I deleted this and then it's just the black here. And then I made it into the purple, which is this color back here. And then, so let's just pretend like I just only had one word. So let me just remove all these other words. And then the shape, I'll move back down. And it was just something like this. I changed the font a bit, made it a bit smaller, but basically this is what I did to manipulate that one that I previously had. And so if we go back right here, you can see that this is where I got it from. Now I did also lighten the shape transparency. So if I go back to it on this one right here, if I open it and I go into this, I did make it a little bit more see-through. And it's just a stylistic choice. I think it adds more detail and de depth to it. And then we'll go back. And so, you know, this is gonna work best when you're at a part where you're actually listing a bunch of things. So here she's listing the different traits or characteristics. And so I always start from the bottom and it's like almost building a pyramid as you can see. So as soon as she starts listing it out, I want the first word to come in. Now you can see when I open one of these up, the word choices, I've added a behavior to it, which is basically like an animation. So I added the animation grow. And honestly, you can choose any of these. I decided to do the style of grow because I thought it would be a nice touch to have the animation pop up. Now for the shape, I also added in grow. I basically took scale, added it on, and the style of it coming up is in grow. Now you can actually change this. You can have it do bounce in, fade in, fly in, whatever you want. It's just a stylistic choice. So I'm just gonna remove this cause it'll be double. And for both of these, for the during, right? There's in, during, out. I have it set to none and then shrink so that it goes away really tiny when it's leaving, just like that. So same thing here for the text. I have it for grow, none, and then shrink. So that's what I had for all of them. And for the bottom, what you do is you wanna just stretch it out and time it out to the entire duration of how long it takes in the video to list out whatever it is you're listing. So in this case, it was from here to here. 
And you want to do that beforehand so you know that's where you need to stop and it'll just be easier as you are growing what I call this pyramid here. And then as the person, whoever's speaking, is listing out the next thing, you just follow along and place it when they start speaking. So here, your choices. So it was choices, and then that's when choices came up, right? And then your habits. And then momentum, that's when habits influences. came Influences. And so you just keep following that until everything has been listed out and it stops right there, right? And so because I know when it ends, I literally just stack them on top of each other and stop it here. They all need to stop over here and I'm just building it. So you take the time to style the first one. You choose your font, you choose the shape. Now I chose to group this so that it makes it a little bit smaller because if I had the shape and text, this would be double the size. And this would, instead of seven, would be 14. There would be 14 tracks. So I did this grouping to save time. And if you want to group something, all you do is you highlight it, you right click, and then you go to group. And then it makes it into a group like this because if you click the plus sign, there's actually two elements in there. So after you've stacked everything up, you know where it stops, then you can potentially add a sound. I like adding the sound. I add the bubble popping. I just thought it would work very well with how she was speaking and what was coming up in the video. And I have all my audio saved in my library under my audio files. And I do get my audio from a website called artlist.io. If you're interested in that, I do have a link down below. It's where I get my copyright free music and audio sounds like this. And so all I did was at the beginning, just add in the audio sounds, you know, just like this, right to the beginning, because I know that's where she starts saying the first word, the first list, the first thing, the second thing, the third, fourth, and so on, right? I just put it at the beginning of everything, and then at the end, you only need to put one at the end. And the reason why I didn't put it exactly at the end, I'm not sure if you notice, but it's not right at the end, right? It's not over here, it's over here. And the reason for that is because the animation is actually starting to leave at this point. So you can see here, things are already disappearing. And so in my opinion, if I have it over here, when everything is gone, like right here, the sound doesn't really work as well. So that's why I put it just slightly before. It's not even a full second, but you know, these are the things that I do pay attention to. And so that's pretty much it. That's how you add an animated list to create an animated list. Obviously you can customize everything and anything. Customize the font, the size of the font, the shape. You know, it doesn't have to be this rectangle here. It can be a different color as well. You can have different sounds. You can have it placed differently. I have it here because there's a lot of space here. But you can, you know, have it pop up all over the screen if you wanted to. It's really dependent on, you know, your stylistic choice of editing. So that's it. That's how you create an animated list in Camtasia. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.